Good morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Shay Turner. And I'm Marcello Blanco. Thank you for joining us. Stakes are high this year for the men's lacrosse. Today we're going to be finding out what students' favorite costumes are. There's a conspiracy theory floating around about the authenticity of these stores. Good morning, Faith Lutheran. I'm Shay Turner. And I'm Marcello Blanco. Thank you for joining us. As the end of the year comes to a close, the senior class is preparing to move into the next chapter of their lives. Danita Romani followed one of those seniors, Allie Coy, around for a day. There are lots of standout students here at Faith, but outside of the spotlight stand the lesser known, creative, multitasking, and busybodied students. Allie Coy is one of those students. I'm Danita Romani here with the FLNN, and we're going to jump into Allie Coy's life. What would one of your busiest days look like? That would probably be Wednesdays, which sometimes I have chapel. I have to get up at 5.30 to come to chapel and rehearse for either praise band or applied. And then we actually have to perform both chapels, and then I go through my day, and then I'm, we have creative writing club after school on Wednesdays. And then after that, I'll go home, do my homework, and then either edit or film for my YouTube channel. Well, what's your favorite part of your day? On that day, creative writing club. Because I love the environment where we all can just be total nerds about writing, and I just love the girls there. How do you know Allie? Um, I know Allie from Writing Club. She's actually the president or commander, as she calls herself. Now, has she or how has she impacted your life in any way? Um, she's really given me a lot of hope for just my career options because she has a lot of determination and drive for writing, which I never thought was an option. Before this year, there wasn't a creative writing club, and that made me really sad because I know that there are a lot of people who would love to be part of creative writing club. So we got that started, and that was definitely really fun and a great activity to start. And then for my YouTube channel, I run what's called a booktube, where basically I get to nerd out about books, and people for some reason actually listen to me, so that's fun. Does she inspire you to do better? She really does, like, very much inspire me to do better. Uh, like I said, she's just... She's a prime example of somebody who works hard for what they want, regardless if it's expected not to be something you can achieve. How do you manage your time? For at this point, it's my senior year. It's the last, one of the last weeks of my senior year. I feel like I kind of have it under control. I have a study hall where I get a lot of my homework done. And after school, if I have any, then I'll just do it right after school. And that's about it. What advice would you give to kids that are interested in the same things as you? Don't be afraid to be a dork, because there are other people who love the same things you do. I'm Danita Romani for the FLNN, signing off. Thank you, Danita. Another big change that our community is welcoming is the new baseball team, the Aviators. Our next story is from Grace Jacobson, who went around interviewing a few players from the team. Hi, I'm Grace from the FLNN here at the Las Vegas Ballpark to get the inside edition about being a minor league ball player. Can you tell us a little bit about the overall season? Uh, so far, it's been good. We're, you know, we're bonding as a team well, so... Uh, you know, it's a brand new ballpark. It's a lot of fun to come play at. You know, it's been uh, it's been fun so far. Um, surrounded by a lot of good guys, and uh, we're having a blast, and uh, just kind of adapting to everything here. And the the stadium's new, so getting used to everything around here. And uh, you know, it's my first time in AAA, so getting used to the travel, plane rides. So, but overall, it's it's been so much fun, and I'm still just kind of living the dream. Uh, most memorable moment uh, for me personally was uh, I hit three homers uh, in one game just a couple weeks ago, and that was by far one of the best experiences I've ever had on a baseball field. And, um, you know, but as a team, I think, you know, we started the season so well and, um, you know, it was so much fun to be a part of the winning streak that we had going and uh, just around, I mean, the, all the guys were just hitting and pitching it so well. So, I mean, I mean, for us, I think that was probably the most memorable so far is just our, you know, our start to the season. I'm probably opening up this new, new, new place. It's, uh, it's gorgeous. It's a big league stadium. So uh, we're very fortunate to be here. Last year, we went to the wild card game and, and played the Yankees in Yankee Stadium for uh, you know one one game playoff to to make it to the postseason, and it was a really cool experience. We didn't end up winning, but um, very cool baseball experience. How is the team bonded? Oh, we're bonded great. You know, I, I, we all you know love each other, and it's uh, like I said, we had a great group of guys, and um, you know, it seems like you know we're kind of bouncing guys around right now. But any guy that comes up or comes down is just awesome, and. Um, the guys are just a blast to be around, so it's been fun. This year, there was a brand new start in Summerlin. A new baseball stadium was built, and a new AAA team came to fill it. Some of the highlights of the season would be playing at the opening game of the Las Vegas ballpark. And a fun fact is that after we interviewed Matt Olson, he went back up to the Oakland A's to play in the big leagues once again. 
from the Las Vegas ballpark, back to you in the... Thank you, Grace. Shay, do you ever get stressed out from finals or school in general? All the time, but you know what's a great way to get rid of stress? What? Yoga. Anna Viseri tells us more about the stress-relieving properties of this ancient practice. With finals coming up fast, Lindsay and I decided to go take a class in downtown Summerlin called Yoga on the Lawn. But due to the current weather conditions, they took the class inside. Let's go check it out. started in college. I took it as an elective, so that was my introduction to yoga. Psychologically, you let it go in life. You just let it go. Can you hear your breathing? Spiritually, you're forgiven. Well, I actually started doing yoga about six years ago. Um, I did it more for a workout but I knew it, it incorporated meditation in there and I love to meditate. Yoga classes are usually taken barefoot and in the dark in an attempt to achieve optimal serenity. I use it for to relieve my anxiety, stress, and also all of my aches and pains. Everything from having sinus congestion to headaches. So this is like my zen time, my me time, and to just let it all go. <laughs> Well, that was interesting. According to experts, yoga is the number one stress reliever. I'm Anna Masseri from the FLNN. Thank you, Anna. Last night, Faith senior Mark Wilborn returned home from Denver, Colorado. The Faith Band and other students and faculty welcomed him home at McCarran Airport yesterday. Wilborn will also be speaking at this year's high school baccalaureate ceremony on May 23rd. Today is also the high school yearbook distribution during advisory. Attend advisory first, and then you'll be dismissed by grades for distribution. Thank you for joining us for our final broadcast. For the last time, I'm Marcello Blanca. And for the last time, I'm Shay Turner. God, God bless. bless. Flowers. No, it's okay. It was good. If I read this right now, am I gonna cry? I think we were still saying God bless. I don't know though. <laughs>